the Library of Birmingham invited me to come and have a look at their vast archives of photography, which span the, uh, like the whole history from the birth of photography up to the present day, uh, to have a look at everything they had in the archive and try to make a work in response to something that they had. And I spent weeks, days, weeks, going through all these photographs, trying to find something that was interesting to me in a way that I could make an artwork from it. And I couldn't really find anything that I could add to because all these photographs were perfect in every way. There'd be like a Victorian photograph of an old chap with a top hat on on a day out at the zoo, or photographs from the Notting Hill Carnival five years ago, and there's nothing really I could contribute to them. And then by chance, we just came across some photographs of like a, a domestic room which had been upturned. And I was like, these are kind of funny, interesting pictures. What are these? And Pete James, the photographic historian who was organizing the project, said, mm, you, funny you should pick those out because we had this huge box of unclassified photographs that somebody just dropped off at the library and we don't really know what to do with them. And he brought them out and they were just old five by four negatives and it appeared like they were police crime scenes. There wasn't any information but some of the envelopes of the negatives had annotations on saying indecent exposure in woods. And it transpired that there were police crime scenes from the 1930s and 40s from West Midlands police. And there were very strange, enigmatic photographs, scenes with upturned beds and chairs or just kind of chilly, snowy landscapes or this one here, five sides of meat hanging inside some kind of a brick room. And I thought, okay, so this is potentially some sort of material for all making a work with. And I made a selection of 12 different images from this vast archive, tried to find lots of different subject matter, and then worked towards getting creating an artwork that kind of reflected what I thought the status of these images were. Because although they were very mundane in a way, they're just like an image of a toilet or an image of crates of beer, they were all loaded in some way because they were there, something, something wrong had happened. It was, they were kind of tainted by this nefarious history that they had. So I wanted these very kind of mundane, normal looking images to have this kind of power to them to, so that they glowed with this, this, uh, this um, transgression which had happened. So I finished up taking the 12 images and then printing them in an ultraviolet sense. And then in front of each case I've got a light, not dissimilar to the kind of forensic photography flash that the cameraman might have had in the 1930s and 40s where you have this, this big blast of light that bleaches everything out. So intermittently, a light will flash and that crime scene is then revealed to you for a brief moment. And a lot of these crimes, we don't really know exactly what happened. And as would the detectives, when they arrived on the scene, they wouldn't really know what had happened in that scene. They'd have to piece together all the information. So these pictures are of these elusive moments, these enigmas, which we can't, never will really understand. And they're slipping away from them. And in a way, they're a little bit like that, um, that, that thing of what a, a photograph is to me, or certainly what it was in the old days of chemistry, when you would open up your aperture and the light would flood in, and your pure film would become contaminated or stained by this image. So I was trying to make some works about that, the idea of the, a photographic image being a stain on an otherwise pure surface, and how we, as humans, we kind of mark and stain the world that we move through. We make a mess on it. We leave our grubby fin finger marks. And the title of the work, which is In Camera, kind of refers to that idea of the light passing through the lens into the camera, into the dark room. But in camera is also a legal term, which refers to uh, a discussion that happens without the jury in presence. So there's an okay, the barristers and the judge will have a little private meeting in a little private room and discuss certain technicalities that not everybody's privy to. So it's like this little private 
moment that happens without other people's awareness of it. It's, uh, so kind of also in keeping with these, these little illicit acts, these enigmatic actions that have taken part, which we don't really have access to. Mm -hmm.